Mohamed El Shabag is a tremendous all-around athlete and he has a reputation for being one of the strongest, most powerful players out there. In this video, we're going to take a look at how he uses that strength and power to best effect to make himself one of the toughest opponents to beat on the PSA Tour. You can see in this initial batch of clips in the first element of El Shabagi's power, and that's the force he generates with his hitting, the speed he actually places on the ball with his shots. There's obviously a huge technical element in there as well, that El Shabagi is so good at creating speed on his swing from quite a short backswing, as you can see in some of these shots. Still able to hit the ball very hard with that power that he generates as he snaps that racket head through. What Shabag is also very good at is knowing when to vary that pace. He's not a player that just hits everything hard and, and just smashes the ball around randomly. You, you can see in these rallies here with Rodriguez, he, he knows when to inject the pace. He knows when to slow the ball down, put the soft drop in, and then explode with that hard, low, attacking drive. In this next batch of clips, we'll see El Shabaggy's ability to use his strength to hold a good, strong lunge position and then use that upper body power, that upper body speed strength to crack the shot through from a nice, stable base. In this rally with Nick here, you can see El Shabaggy gets onto Nick's attacking boast and he's stretching, he's reaching, but he's able to stabilise and maintain that strong lunge position when other players maybe would have overbalanced or their momentum would have taken them too far. And then from that stable base, he can put that attacking shot straight down the line. Like a lot of the top Egyptian players, El Shabag is well known for his accuracy and his excellent short game. And this is another area where you can really see the benefits of Mohamed's outstanding strength and stability. You can see in this great slow-mo frame here how he's able to plant that lead leg and really absorb the force as he lunges in. So as he makes contact with that ball, he's able to take the racket through with control and accuracy because of the stability he's created with that lunge position. There's no imbalance, there's no wobble. He's completely still, completely stable and that allows him to really take that ball through with great accuracy. You can see that again here with some of the rallies with Greg Gaultier where El Shabag is able to get onto that lunge, strong, stable position and then use that to be able to guide the ball in with accuracy at the front. You can also see a nice contrast here with some of the shots that El Shabaggy hits with a bit more pace. Whereas the softer, more accurate shots, he's stabilising and, and just bringing the racket through under control. When he's putting more pace on the ball, you can see he steps in and he transitions his movement into the shot. You can see that transference of weight, that power, that speed strength that goes into the shot. And that kind of whole body action allows him to really generate a lot of pace on his shots. The final area we'll look at then as regards El Shabaggy's strength and power is his ability to really hold his position you can see in some of these clips here where El Shabag is taking a strong, powerful step away from the tee, but then pushing back and, and holding his ground makes it very difficult for other players to get around him. The way El Shabag uses his strength and power, not just in terms of his movement onto the ball and, and the striking of his shots, but also that ability to hold that strong, dominant position in the centre of the court and create that imposing figure on the tee, just another factor that goes into making up one of the greatest all-round players of the modern age.